In this week's roundup, orcas take down a bowhead in rare drone footage, ocelots on camera trap in Peru, the UK finally moves forward on its microbead ban, and frozen eggs could save the last white rhinos. Starting in the UK with the radical plan to save the world's last three northern white rhinos from extinction. Scientists have collected eggs from southern white rhinos, a closely related subspecies, to use for IVF. A backup plan is to mix eggs from the southern whites with sperm from northern whites to create a hybrid. Speaking of rhinos, strong anti-poaching measures and community support have seen Nepal's dwindling population of greater one-horned rhinos begin to bounce back. Numbers are now rising again, a trend attributed to commitment at both the grassroots and the highest levels of government. Over to Africa, where rising temperatures are making it too hot for wild African dogs to hunt. Scientists found that peak temperatures in Kenya, Zimbabwe, and Botswana resulted in less active dogs and fewer surviving pups. That's concerning news for a species with a wild population of just 7,000. Into the ocean with one seriously old worm. A tube worm found in the cold depths of the Gulf of Mexico may be among the longest living animals in the world. It's thought the worms live 100 to 200 years, and some may even live longer. And scientists in Russia have filmed orcas hunting a bowhead whale for the first time. Killer whales have long been known to eat bowhead meat, but now we know how. One of the pod's small calves even entered the whale's mighty muzzle for a chance at the protein-rich tongue. In more cetacean news, a dolphin die-off in Europe may be linked to trawling. More than a thousand dolphin carcasses have been spotted in France and the UK thus far, one of the highest numbers in over 14 years. Marine life got a long-awaited win this week. The UK has finally announced plans to implement a ban on microbeads. The tiny plastic, which are found in products like toothpaste and shower gels, feed deadly plastic into the oceans. A new study shows tourism dollars generated by a single bobcat are greater than if the same animal is killed for its fur pelt. Led by scientists with Panthera, the research found that a single bobcat can generate over $300,000 in ecotourism revenue, a far cry from the $400 generated through hunting. Staying with cats, camera traps in Peru spotted a rare glimpse of elusive ocelots. The cats went through a genetic bottleneck in the 60s and 70s, but a recent survey found 70 per 100 square kilometers in the country's Las Piedras district. That means the area now hosts one of the highest densities in the world. Rounding off with a slimy giant, divers in the Red Sea encountered one of the longest species of sea cucumber, known to stretch 7 to 10 feet. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.